GS1 standards for identifying, capturing, and sharing information about products, business locations, and more make it possible for companies to speak the same language, connect with each other, and move their business forward. Together, we're making it possible to trace and track the fresh foods we eat, improve efficiency, and enhance the safety of food for consumers. The fresh foods industry, including the produce, meat and poultry, seafood, deli, dairy, and bakery sectors, is approaching a new frontier in the use of standards and technology to support operations and improve traceability and food safety. Using GS1 standards, fresh foods companies are tackling consumer confidence and food safety challenges while improving their supply chain operations. Let's take a look at GS1 standards in action as we follow a product from its source to a consumer. At the very beginning of the supply chain, grower global location numbers, or GLNs, are assigned and managed. Global trade item numbers, or G10s, with extended data such as batch and lot number, are created for the identification of each product and case and printed on cases. Product data is shared through the Global Data Synchronization Network, or GDSN. Serial Shipping Container Codes, or SSCCs, are created for each pallet packed in the field. Pallet tags are created and printed using those SSCCs. GS1 barcodes are used to track product as it moves from the field to the cooler. Validated customer GLNs are collected and stored. Harvesting data, inventory, and delivery information is stored in the Enterprise Resource Planning, or ERP system, as the detail of the shipment. Advanced ship notices, or ASNs, containing SSCCs, G10s, and GLNs are sent to customers. The packer or shipper is also identified with a GLN so that all the physical locations in the supply chain are identified using the same global standard. G10s and batch lot numbers are created for repacked and commingled products and cases. SSCCs are created for new pallets. G10s and batch lot numbers are used to create and track shipments, improving order and inventory accuracy along with enabling traceability. At the wholesaler, validated customer GLNs are collected and stored. SSCCs and G10s are used and preferably scanned for receipt verification from the packer shipper to put products into inventory and to pick products for creating shipments. They are also used to rotate inventory and for quality control processes. Inventory and delivery information is stored in the warehouse management system. Electronic data interchange or EDI information is synchronized and orders are managed. At the distribution center, validated customer GLNs are captured and shared. SSCCs and G10s with batch and lot numbers are used for receipt verification from the wholesaler to put products into inventory and to pick products for creating shipments.
At the point of sale or service, product is received and validated against purchase orders, linking G10s received to batch and lot numbers for each case. Product data is synchronized via GDSN, orders are managed, and inventory and delivery information is stored. Cases are identified during picking shipping processes at the distribution center and tracked to validate delivery to correct location with GLN completing transfer of ownership. G10s and corresponding batch lot numbers are used to drive inventory replenishment and to ensure precise recall capability or traceability if needed. The fresh foods industry is improving traceability and food safety, bolstering consumer confidence and enhancing supply chain efficiency. Find out how your organization can use GS1 standards to improve your individual business processes and the fresh foods industry as a whole today.